Grace and peace, this is Bishop Wilson. It is December 1. We are in the North Atlantic, headed back to uh, Cape Canaveral uh, Port. We'll be back home tomorrow. So I just want to give you a leadership lesson today. Um, so I want to talk to you today about why leadership is so important to Christian leaders and pastors. Why is it so important? Why, why spend so much time talking about leadership? Um, and as a pastor, uh, life coach, NLP practitioner, I probably value uh, the profound impact of leadership a little more than the average person, especially in the context of Christian service. So today I want to explore that leadership uh, criteria and why it's so critical for us as Christian leaders and pastors. Um, Christian leadership isn't just about guiding others, it's about stewarding the influence that God has granted you as a leader uh, with the people that you lead. Dr. John Maxwell says that leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. So as a Christian leader and pastor, you're called to influence others so that their lives become shaped and fall into alignment with the teachings of Christ. So consider what the Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians 10 and 13. I'm reading from the Message Bible. It says, we're, uh, we're not understand getting ahead of ourselves as if we've never been to you before. We're staying within the, li the limits of what God has set for us. So I, I wanted to do a Greek word study real quick on the word leader. And it comes from a word, and I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's hegemon, uh, and it means to guide one, to guide or one who goes ahead, goes in front of. So the word comes, uh, carries a sense of responsibility, uh, of directing as a Christian leader, we are hedgemen. We're, we're hedgemen in our community. As a leader, one thing that I, I want to say to us as leaders is you have to be confident. You have to be okay with um, being out front. You, you've got to be confident without becoming cocky about being the person out in front. And even when you're out front, at the same time, you got to be willing to pull and sometimes even push people to their uh, level of expertise, their level of success. So your job is to guide others, not just towards your goal, but into a deeper relationship with Christ. So I want to look at just a few of Dr. John Maxwell's uh, laws from his laws of leadership and correlate it with our teaching today. So the first one is the law of the lead. Uh, your effectiveness as a leader, uh, it sets the lead for your church, your community, uh, the department that you're over, Luke uh, 12 and 48, uh, Jesus says, great gifts mean great responsibilities, greater gifts, greater responsibility. When it talks about the law of the lead, you're, you can never go higher than your leadership ability. You have to uh, develop yourself before you're going to be able to develop others. Great gifts means great responsibility. Greater gifts means greater responsibility. You want to go higher. You want your church to go higher, you want the ministry that you're open to go higher, then you've got to be willing to develop yourself. You've got to be putting in the work to develop yourself. The next law is the law of process. Uh, leadership, uh, and the law of process says leadership develops daily, but not in a day. Proverbs uh, 4 and 6 uh, from the Message Bible, it says, keep your eyes straight ahead, ignore all sideshow distractions. So as a leader, you're in the midst of a process. You can't afford to be distracted. You can't afford to let people to distract you. Listen, you can't even allow yourself to distract yourself. I'm on vacation, but I still want to take time to make sure that I'm staying on top of what I'm supposed to do and the commitments that I've made as a leader. The next one is the law of buy-in. And it says people buy into the leader then the vision. People buy into the leader and then the vision. Listen, if people don't uh, feel that they can trust you, that they that they can truly follow you, then they're not going to buy into your vision. So uh, that causes us to reflect on 
2 Corinthians 1 and 5, our message just wasn't words, but it was alive in you. Then we have the law of sacrifice. As a leader, sometimes you must give up to go up. That's what the law of sacrifice is. As a leader, sometimes you got to give up to go up. So remember Jesus' words in John 15 and 13. It says, this is the very best way to love. Put your life on the line for your friends. So those are just some of the laws from John Maxwell's uh, law of leadership that we as leaders need to reflect on and walk in daily. It's not just about leading, but it's about transforming lives through your leadership. Does your life transform lives? I know we have the word of God, but does your life cause people to want to follow you? The Apostle Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. So reflect on how you can enhance your influence and your leadership ability by investing in your personal growth, fostering, fostering a genuine connection and practicing that sacrificial love that we're talking about here. So remember, leadership in a Christian context is a journey of service and profound influence. You, you have a, a great responsibility to influence. So in closing, remember that your leadership as a Christian leader and pastor is a powerful tool in the kingdom of God. It's about more than guiding. It's about inspiring and influencing lives towards Christ. So we've got to embrace this uh, principle and continue to grow in our leadership journey towards keeping Christ as the center. So I hope this has been a blessing to you today. It's getting hot out here. We're getting ready to go back to the room just for a moment. Uh, we will be back in the city of Charlotte on tomorrow. So remember, God's the greatest power. You are not defeated. God bless.